Okay, guys, it's time for this week's 10 and 10, 10 moves in 10 minutes, right? And I've been so excited about the comments that people have been making, specifically the ones that say, uh, I woke up, I didn't feel great, my back hurt, I was stiff, so I decided to do a 10 and 10, and I felt amazing. So I've been hearing that from people online who live far away. I've been hearing that from people who come in the door, and that just makes me super happy. So um, today is going to be a little bit of a low-key 10 and 10. We're going to be down on the floor. Uh, I had like a weird eye thing, which I think was like one of those migraine auras today. Um, and you know, as luck would have it, there are two neurologists here working out. So, um, they helped me figure it out and I'm feeling much better now. Um, so this is going to be an on ground, a little bit of a low key using body weight, thinking about posture, how all these things, um, flow together. So here we go. I'm going to start my timer. And the first one that we're going to do, actually, just so you know, um, I'm sitting on a pad like this. So you might want to just throw a pillow down on the floor. I think it's more comfortable if you're sitting on something. If you're okay with your legs crossed, great. If you'd rather have them out like this or maybe straight out, it really doesn't matter. Whatever's comfortable for you. But we're going to start by just really sinking down. I'm kind of rocking back onto my, um, my sacrum, that sort of bone that runs like this on along the bottom, bottom of your spine so i'm just rocking back on that feels like a really nice stretch through my whole back and then i'm kind of anchoring on to my knees so that i can get a little extra pull and lengthening there and when i come up i can use my knees to bring my chest forward a little bit more and if <clears throat> We can coordinate with our breath too. You can exhale on the rollback, inhale on the way up. We'll just do one more of those. Exhale here, inhale here. <clears throat> All right. I've got some amazing friends, uh, particularly one I'm thinking of, um, Fabian in Germany, and he does a lot of on-ground stuff. He actually was a vet, and he does a lot of animal kind of movements. So I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna sit like this so you can see what I'm doing. We're gonna cross a foot over, put your hand on the floor, and then just raise your hips up. We're gonna do each side, one at a time. So I'm just crossing over, raising up. This one's for you, Fabian, Mr. Fabulous. Okay, so it really feels good, actually, to kind of roll around like this, push up, and it's a move that has been on my mind lately because a good friend of mine fell at home and he wasn't able to get back up. So we all want to make sure that we can get up if we fall. So these kind of things, if we practice them, you get a workout. You almost look kind of massaging yourself a little bit too while you do it, but you also stay mobile, which is huge. So if I just turn around face the other way, I'm crossing my left foot over now and raising up. <clears throat> we got about 20 more seconds of that. I'm going to do this more often. Feels really good. All right. Next one we're going to do. Again, I'm sitting on my pad. Okay. I'm going to get my hands behind me. And I'm just going to raise up. Now, if for some reason that does not feel good on your shoulders, then you could go down onto your elbows and just practice lifting your butt up a little bit. Doesn't have to be all the way up, but my shoulders feel fine. So I'm putting my hands back down on the ground and working that. We sort of forget about body weight exercises sometimes and they are incredible for circulation, getting rid of inflammation and strengthening 
all at the same time. Let's see. Got about 10 more seconds of that one. Okay, next we're gonna go for a little kind of yoga boat Pilates kind of feeling move. So I'm just gonna rock right back. I'm gonna slowly lower my feet down and bring them back up. Now, if you wanna hold it here for a few seconds, go ahead. If that's not your jam, you don't have to do it. But try to move through this, up and down, up and down. Really great for your core, uh, core strength, which, let's face it, we could all use some more of. And it kind of feels really good just like getting into the floor on this part of your, of your back. We'll do about two more of those. One more. Okay, next one. One of my all time favorites is a great core exercise. I can't stand doing plank and holding it. So we're gonna move through it, all right? So I'm gonna get up into plank. Just gonna raise right up into like a down dog, come back to plank. We're going through a full range of motion here. So bringing your hips way up and all the way down. Now, if that feels uncomfortable to drop your hips way down, just don't do it. Sometimes that compresses your lower back and it doesn't feel good, okay? So just bring them up, bring them back down to straight. Now, we're gonna make that a little more challenging for the last half of this one, and you're not gonna move as much, okay? So you're only gonna bring your hips up part way and then to plank. Part way, so you're only moving them a few inches now. You're not going through the whole range. Keep moving through that. It's much harder than the bigger move. Just a few inches up, back to plank. Few inches up, back to plank. You should be working pretty hard by now. Okay, gonna do one more. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna get this pad back. I'm gonna go ahead and put my knee on it and I'm gonna bring my other foot kind of wide like this. Then I'm just gonna reach across and come back up. Make this a little bit bigger. Reach across, really getting into that lunge right here, okay? If you wanna come back like that on the way back, go ahead, reach, open up. Reach, open up. Now, this hip right here, keep going by the way, this hip right here is controlling the motion, okay? Only go far as you can go there. If you start to feel your lower back arch, too far, okay? Go as far as that hip will go. That reach is gonna help protect your back a little bit. Here, and open. And if you're not sure what your lower back is doing, put your hand back there. If that space kind of closes up on you, you know that your, bar, your back is arching and your hips are, have done what they're gonna do for you on this one, okay? Here, and here. We're gonna go ahead and do the other side. I'm getting nice and wide. Now it's this hip that's controlling. Reach out there, come back and open. Reach right out, come back and open. This is a really great one to kind of take your lower leg out of the game and really get into your hips, your spine, and your core, which is, of course, the foundation for everything. Yeah. Here we go. We'll do three more on this side. Nice. Okay, I'm inching my way up now. So, I do this pretty much first thing every morning. Don't feel 
bad if you can't get all the way down. I'm gonna go into a really deep kind of squat. What you might wanna do is put your hands, your fingertips on the pad and just bend your knees as far as you wanna go or drop your hips as far as your body wants you to go, okay? If your knees feel okay and your hips feel okay, you might be able to go all the way down and come all the way back up. But don't do that if that doesn't feel right. If just a little bit of a bend here is all you want to do or all your body wants to do, that's fine, okay? If you can get all the way into that squat, that's cool too. So in countries where people squat instead of sitting in chairs, guess what? No arthritis, no hip replacements, no knee replacements because they're using the full range of their joints. It's really amazing, okay? But that doesn't mean you force an issue on the first day or the first few times that you do something. You just go as far as your body will go, okay? And that was our low key 10 and 10 today. I'm warmed up, okay? Even though it's low key, doesn't mean you're not getting your heart rate going, you're not getting your blood pumping, you're moving all the fascia, all the muscles, lengthening, loading, pushing, pulling, it's all good. All right, I'll see you guys next time.